Okay, second grade friends, we finished reading Rocks of Oxen together. So I want to help you think a little bit about that story and give you an assignment to do today that I think you're going to find a pretty fun assignment. So in Rocks of Oxen, the kids in the town created a world, a, an imagination play world that was outside, that was wonderful and amazing. And they had all kinds of fun things um, in, their, in their world. One of those things was sea glass. Some of you, it was like sea glass. Some of you may have experience with sea glass. You can have all kinds of, this is um, sea glass that I bought at the beach one year. So they weren't near the sea, but theirs um, was made with sand and it would do the same thing. So when you have um, water or sand rubbing against glass, it'll make it very smooth. So I am holding here a piece of broken glass. But this one came from near the beach. So it's not sharp because the sand and the water tumbled over and over and over it until it became nice and smooth and it's safe to touch and play with. And you can even sort of see this one has a little bit of a, a bottle-like look to it. You can see that there. Some of them come in very beautiful colors. So you can do all kinds of fun things with sea glass if you ever have an opportunity um, to get some. Sometimes they sell it at stores. Sometimes you can find it up at the beach. I actually bought this at a store at the beach. It was found at the beach that I was near, um, but I bought some because I'm going to make a cool craft with it one day. So maybe you have an opportunity or ha you have had an opportunity in the past to find some sea glass. So that helps us think about the story, but they used all kinds of things that were just around them. So you don't need to go to the beach to do today's assignment. So today's assignment doesn't involve paper, it doesn't involve pencil, you are going to create a mini Rocks of Oxen. So let me share with you my mini Rocks of Oxen to give you an idea. Okay, so your job today is to create a mini version of your own Rocks of Oxen. You're not creating the exact Rocks of Oxen that they have. And I'm gonna to talk to you about all the different ways that you can do that. So. The way I did it is I started with a pan. It's a pizza pan from my kitchen and I put sand on it from my sandbox. Now you might say, I don't have a sandbox. Well, that's okay. You could decide to put something different down as the floor of your rocks of box. And maybe you have a lot of moss. I decided to put a little area of moss over here, but maybe you wanna use a lot of moss. Over here, I just have some grass. Plain old grass from my yard. You could decide to cover the whole bottom with grass. Then you're going to go looking around for things that you have in your yard or in your house to create your own mini rocks of oxen. So I have these little tiny pebbles in a garden. So I took a handful of those and I made roads just like they had roads in their rocks of oxen. I have a little room or a little house over here I made out of sticks. These three rocks right there. Those aren't ones that I found in my yard, but they're just shiny pebbles that I don't know where they came from somewhere. Here are some plants and some flowers from my yard. Here's a big fancy rock. So I want you to come up with one. Maybe um, you want to use things from your house too. So I have this little tiny green glass frog. So I could add my little green frog here to my scene, or I have this kind of plant. It's called an air plant. So maybe I want to put this like a big tree um up here something well can't see it very well let's move it down here something like that so i want you to play with it think about what you can create what can you create to make your own version of rocks of box and now we don't live somewhere where it's very hot and dry and there are cactuses so i'm not expecting to see hot and dry and cactuses if you don't have a sandbox at your house then you're not even going to be able to do what i did and get some sand for your rocks of oxen but it's okay to have a grass or a dirt rocks of oxen maybe you want to make your rocks of oxen outside i couldn't really do that or i wouldn't be able to show it to you under the elmo here so i put mine on a pan but maybe you just want to put yours out in the yard. Maybe you have a place to play in your backyard that you could just create a little world right there. So you are going to play outside today and you're going to create a little rocks of oxen world and you're going to take a picture and send it to me because I want to see your little rocks of oxen. Maybe you wanna make a video and you wanna tell me about it. You wanna tell me who lives over here and who lives over here. And like the kids in the story, I want you to use your imagination. You can put anybody you want living there. Um, it can be real people, it can be 
pretend people, it can be fairies, it can be whatever you want. This is your little imaginary world that you are going to create, okay? So that is your assignment today, and I can't wait to see them. You're either going to email me a picture or a video or post it to the Facebook group so that I can see it of your own little version of Rocks the Boxing.